Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 27 of the Striker Career Mode. We're here with Villarreal, and we've got a big episode today. Uh, we are going to be taking on Napoli away in the Europa League uh, after a 1-0 home win against them in the first leg. So uh, a good setup for that game. They've got no away goals. If we can nick one, um, I certainly favour us to go through. And uh, the second game of this episode will be the semi-final second leg against Barcelona. We drew 0-0 drew in the first leg. So all to play for again there. But since we've uh, since we left last time, which was the uh, the Napoli game, we played Rayo Vallecano and we won 3-0. A good, comfortable win there. And uh, it gives us good momentum going into this Napoli game. And let's get straight into it. Here we go. Europa, Europa League action. Napoli versus Villarreal in the second leg. Here comes the Napoli lineup. It's Butland in goal. Bustos and Grimaldo out wide with Koulibaly and Maksimovic at the back. Alan, Jorginho and Zielinski, Kalion and Insigne with Milic up top. Exactly the same team that faced us last time. And the Villarreal lineup. I'm expecting much of the same. Asenjo in goal, Miguelon and Schmelzer are full backs. Centre half, Perrin of Ruiz and Alvaro. Fuego and Ndai holding. Pedraza, Fornals and Saliba in behind. Sean measures. Fornals finds me. Just going to hold this up, slow things down and die. Pushes one out wide to Pedraza. Four nows. Back to me. We're going to find Pedraza and we do. Pedraza finds me. We beat the defender on the edge. We're going to hit one. It's pretty poor. But Koulibaly gets his head there and deflects that out for a corner kick. Or maybe he doesn't get his head to it. He gets his chest to it. Lucky not to be a handball. Corner kick comes in, we're there, and we try something audacious, but maybe a deflection, maybe a throw into us. Four nows to Undai. Javi Fuego finds me. We've got options and runners in Saliba here. What's Saliba going to do? He's going to find me. We're going to try and clip one across. We do, and Pedraza. Pedraza loves missing a header at the far post. He really does. But a great cross from me there, and a really good chance. Bustos, great ball to Milik. Pedraza turns directly into trouble. Milik gets the cross in, and Signe headers. And a good save from Asenjo. Two minutes added time in this first half. And Villarreal will be the happier team going in at 0 0 here, I think. Javi Fuego. Four nows. Salabur finds me. Allen steps in, but it doesn't matter. That's the half time whistle. And at half-time, I think Napoli definitely been the better side. They've had the better chances. They've controlled the possession. But still on aggregate, Villarreal lead 1-0, but 0-0 on the night. Four nows, finds my feet. Pushed out wide to Salabert. He's got runners in Miguelon. Miguelon finds Rodri. What will Rodri do? Rodri tries to find four nows, and that was a really smart save from Butland there. Corner kick. Corner kick, let's give him the run around a little bit here. We have done. Rodri wins his header. It's in the mixer and Victor Ruiz, the centre half. Excellent, excellent header there. Almost like something off the training ground. A big celebration from Measures there. That's a, uh, that's an average corner, but that little header back in and then Victor Ruiz's header there. Almost undefendable. You could argue that possibly come off his arm, but... Villarreal won't care. They lead 2-0 on aggregate now. And they've got the away goal. So Napoli will need three goals to get back into this game. As Callihan finds the run of Milik. Back to Callihan again. Napoli did have numbers forward, but we've got back a little bit now. Jorginho on the edge. He's beating his man really, really well. Shoots and misses at the near post. Trigueros, four nows. Rodri finds me, and we've walked straight into Jorginho, and we could be in trouble here. Mertens, Insigne down this left-hand side. Insigne swings one in. Callihan's there, and Callihan gets kicked up in the air by Schmelzer. No card, but it will be a penalty, and it's going to make this game a little bit, little bit um, stressful for the last 20 minutes because. 
Napoli have a big, big chance. Very clumsy tackle there. Very, very clumsy. Hamzik to come on for Jorginho. And Bonera to come on for Miguelon. Merton steps up for the penalty. Merton shoots. Merton hits the post. Trigueros gets that away. And we keep the game at 1-0 for, for now. Push it out wide to Saliba. Three minutes added time here. Bonera. Saliba. Four nows. Finds me. We go back to Rodri. There's no rush here. We've got our back to goal. Can we create a shooting chance? I don't know why I just decided to do that. Terrible, terrible decision. But we've still got possession. And surely this is it. And we are going to be going through to the next round. And there it is. That's the final whistle. Napoli were all over us in the last few minutes there. Corner after corner after corner. Good saves from the goalkeeper. But across the two legs, I'd like to think we were the better team. In my opinion, we were. And uh, we done just enough. And we sneaked through 2-0 on aggregate. And after the game, a match rating of 7.4. Not quite as good as the first game. But we did exactly what we needed to do today. And the stats tell us that as well. Our passing was 95%. And um, that is one thing I made sure that I wanted to do today. Just don't lose the ball. Hold it up. Bring others into play. 20% shooting, yeah, we snatched at a few. It wasn't a great shooting performance from us, but a good result and a decent match rating. Manager feedback at full time, 50-50. You helped us keep control of the ball with some intelligent passes back to your teammates and great vision with those through ball passes. And then the negative, jockey your opponent, avoid committing and, and diving. Playing as an attacker is more than about just scoring goals. It's about keeping possession in the final third. This is something that needs improvement. OK, after that game, um, a really, really good performance across the two legs. And we have had the draw for the next round. And as you can see on the right-hand side there, second fixture down, we've been drawn against Porto, which isn't a terrible draw. And if you want to look across the, the whole tournament and who's left, I mean, who, who do you worry about? You worry about Chelsea, you maybe worry about Roma, maybe a couple of the German teams, Schalke and Bayer Leverkusen. But other than that, everyone left in this competition is more than beatable. So if we get through against Porto, we find ourselves in the quarterfinals. And, uh, and who knows? Dare to dream. And now we have the second leg of the Copa de España semi-final against Barcelona. First leg was 0-0. And likely the winners of this game is going to face Real Madrid in the final. Here we go, Copa de España semi-final, second leg. It's Barcelona versus Villarreal. Barcelona lineup: Silicon in goal, Semedo and Alba fullbacks, centre half pair and a PK and Mina, Busquets and Keita in the middle of the park, Carrasco and Coutinho out wide, Suarez and Messi up top. A really good Barcelona team. Villarreal lineup now: it's Asensio in goal, Miguelon and Schmelzer. Alvaro and Ruiz at the back. And Dai and Fuego holding. Pedraza and Muller out wide. Four nows in behind the lone striker. Sean Measures. Corner to Villarreal. These are the chances we need to take. Corner comes in. Shot from Mendai. And not far wide to be honest. Coutinho dispossessed by Miguelon. Pedraza finds my feet. Pedraza. What can he do? Oh, he goes back to Fuego. Probably the best option, to be fair. Uh, it's found its way to my feet. We shoot. And I tell you what, that wasn't that far over. Barcelona on the back foot a little bit early on in this game. I was getting pulled and pushed and tugged all over the place. Done well to get a shot off at all. Muller steals the ball and measures loses it straight away. Sergio Busquets, Messi, Sergio Busquets, and he drills one just wide of the post. Schmelzer into my feet. We turn the defenders really well. We're going to try and bend one into the top corner, and it was a bit of a weak shot. Sillison was there, and with only two minutes of the half to go, it's all over. First half done and dusted. It's... Uh, not been a fantastic game, to be honest. A little bit cagey. You can see neither team wants to concede. I think one goal may win this. That's if we don't go to extra time and penalties. Half time, Barcelona nil, Villarreal nil. Keita, Messi, 
find Suarez, Coutinho, Messi must be. And there it is. A really, really good finish. Good passage of play from Barcelona. Tidy, tidy finish. And you'd expect nothing less from Lionel Messi there. 1-0 Barcelona. And they've got the advantage in this game. Great first touch. Even better second. Goalkeeper no chance. Great finish. And Villarreal now need a goal desperately. Two minutes out of time here. It's looking unlikely that we're going to get a goal. Barcelona in possession. They've been the better team. They've just outclassed us. And there it is. Final whistle. Barcelona win the game 1-0. And they will progress to the final where they most probably will play Real Madrid. It was a good run. I never thought we'd win it. I thought Real Madrid or Barcelona uh, would end up winning it. They are the two strongest teams in the league. But a valiant effort and um, and good to get to the semi-finals. And we, we certainly did, we didn't get battered anyway. So there we go. Game done. 1-0 Barcelona. And after the game, match rating of 6.9. Really poor from us. We couldn't create anything. Every pass was going astray. The same as my teammates as well. Um, every pass essentially made its way to a Barcelona player. Uh, really bad performance from Villarreal. But not the end of the world. We're, uh, we're still in a chance with the league campaign and still in the Europa League. So you never know. Could still see some silverware this season. Manager feedback after the game. Mostly negative, as you can see. Let's start with the positive. You helped us keep control of the ball with some intelligent passes back to your teammates. And then the negative. Jockey your opponent. Avoid committing and diving. Keeping possession in the middle of the park is essential for controlling the game. You lost the ball in those areas far too often. And make sure your teammate is open to receive a short pass. Okay, so after those two games, even though neither of them were league games, this is the league table. And as you can see, we are sitting top at the moment. And we have a game in hand on Barcelona. So a potential to push three points clear at the top with probably about 14 games left, something like that. Um, so not bad at all. Okay, so in terms of where we're going to come back, we're obviously going to be bringing you the uh, the Europa League round of 16 against Porto. I want to show you both legs. It kind of makes things a little bit awkward, but next episode I'm probably thinking Porto um, in the round of 16 and then Barcelona at home in La Liga. Massive game. Um, and then the next episode will be the round of 16 tie and possibly a European Championship qualifier, something like that. Uh, so that is it for the episode today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please drop it a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in the next episode.